nerd soul. <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, here we go. Ride is here. Nerd Soul Ride, N E R D S O U L. What's up? Thanks for y'all coming through, sliding with us. You know what I'm saying? Up in the whip, we going, we going. Run some of this stuff down. If you want, if you're new to the Rob podcast, is is it was gone for a minute, but it's back. Okay, first of all, Paramount Plus. I gotta I gotta give you pluses, and then I gotta give you minuses. All right, for a plus, you brought Star Trek back. For a plus, you brought you know Transformers Earth Spark. For a plus, you got you know what I'm saying you got Sonic one and two on your on your stuff. So that's good, but. Star Trek Prodigy, which I covered last season, has already returned, and I didn't know nothing about it. Now, here's my issue. Y'all sent me emails for The Good Wife. Y'all sent me emails about, like, I don't know, some kind of firefighter shows, and y'all sent me emails. Y'all ain't sent me nothing about the stuff I watch, man. Like, we, ain't that what the algorithm is for? Y'all all up in our business, nosy and what we doing, what we watch, what we... Ain't that supposed to assist us? Ain't y'all supposed to be using that? To, like, bro, how the show came back for three episodes? I don't know nothing. But you know what? That's neither here nor there. We're here to talk about your boy Dow, Gwen, Jankum, Rock, you know what I'm saying? Big Worm, all of them. I'm glad this show is back. This show is continuing to impress me now i mean of course i'm gonna I'm cover this live on a couple of episodes but right now you know things are changing on the channel so we're flipping up stuff and all that good stuff i like that when we see gwen we deal with her memory loss quickly this isn't something that some shows would have dragged something like this out you know what i'm saying they would have been like oh well you know it's five episodes and she still can't remember nothing yo they they wrapped that up quick also we found out very quickly what um gwen's dad meant the diviner what he meant by this ship is a weapon you know what i'm saying or it is the weapon you know what i'm saying so we learned that very quickly um, also, we get to see that they don't know what she is, of course, because he's from the future. So this is a uh, this is what I consider good quality writing and a, what's considered to be a children's show because they didn't drag this stuff out. They go in and let they let it play out quickly. Where in the first episode, we see that this ship is a weapon where wherein they uh, literally make the Federation attack itself. You know what I'm saying? That that relay station just blew itself up. You know what I'm saying? Then we also get to see that Dow still doesn't know who he is or what he is, but he's to put, supposed to report straight to Starfleet. Um, so we get a little more mystery about that. Uh, we also find out that Gwen, even though she lost her memory and we're reeling from that, we solve that and we get out of that quickly. So we get up out of that situation and we don't have to be, you know, we don't have to be like tied down with it any longer because we have other stuff to do. We also see our crew saving things, doing good deeds, you know, making sure that they don't, you know, mess up the prime directive, all that stuff. So they are really becoming kind of like recruits. And I'm, 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 I'm happy that they're settling into their role, even down for being a captain. Um, are settling into the role. And then um, uh, Janeway, well, actually we have regular Janeway and uh, Janeway Janeway. So, or sorry, we got uh, Robo Janeway, I guess, <laughs> Computer Janeway or PC Janeway and regular Janeway. So PC Janeway, who's our Janeway, this is our girl. You know what I'm saying? I like seeing the hug with Dow and her and how he kind of like looks up to her. And I mean, she is kind of, the den mother of the crew and seeing that you know emotion uh shown to her i thought that was i thought that was very very you know just touching and emotional if you will you know what i mean i mean i ain't one to get all in emotion but i'm just saying it was emotional i thought it was cute um also seeing big worm uh seeing big worm and seeing zero how when they came into the uh into the relay he was like oh you a medusa get out of my way and then seeing big worm come through he was like oh yeah you a slime monster or something like that. so that was fun um also seeing rock go further into her kind of like science mode is something that i dig as well man all of this stuff really 
comes together and, and it's an enjoyable show. I think it's fun. I know it's I know it's not aimed at someone like me, but it's something that I and my son can watch together and I can enjoy it, man. It, I think it's pretty cool. Um, even into the episode where we, of course, the diviner is not dead. And it, when Gwen was saying that she thought, you know, her father was there, I was like, nah, nah, bruh. Even... Even Nurse Soul Light was like, he's dead. I was like, nah, nah, we ain't see. Unless we see him take his last breath, we can't, uh uh-uh. You can't never, never count that stuff out because I know how TV do. TV, look, you can be, you can fall off a, off a, you know, the Empire State Building. And if that camera cuts, we don't know. You might still be living. You know what I'm saying? So, (laughs) we got to see you on the ground with your eyes closed. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, so, now we have a whole nother mystery of the diviner being with Admiral Janeway and what that will bring to pass. Because right now, from Admiral Janeway's perspective, whatever ship that we're looking for, this the ship, the Proto Star ship that we're looking for that might have Chicote there, is a threat, like a serious threat, and probably where she was like, this went from a rescue mission to a manhunt. So. She is probably going to be all guns blazing and it's going to be hard to probably going to be hard to explain what's going on from their perspective because they're kids. They're going to mess it up. You know what I'm saying? They're going to write in a a way where they explain it horribly and they're going to be like in cuffs or something. Um, Also, uh, another plus uh, about this return is handling the Borg in a way that is kind of like kids safe. Like because the Borg in general can be a pretty scary uh, species would you would we could do we consider the borg a species or what i don't know what we i mean they're i mean maybe not they it's a thing or, or a, a robot a hive mind intelligence so i don't know if we consider the borg a i don't know what we consider but the bottom line is handling in a way where it wasn't super scary was cool because the borg can be scary and also having Medusa not, not Medusa sorry Z having Z going in there um, as a Medusa and saying hey I've been part of a hive mind before and having her kind of get sucked into it but then brought out by Gwen saying hey look I know this happened but I forgive you and you need to forgive yourself there's nothing you know like that kind of thing I'm like alright well alright y'all y'all are becoming a hashtag family but uh, <laughs> I really do dig it man I dig it a lot I think this show is strong has continued to be strong and it's a lot of fun man and it's it's another cool way to see the galaxy i think uh, i think lower decks is cool i love prodigy i love um star trek discovery i really dig strange new worlds i think like star trek man is is back is, is back for real like I, I know there's one that i that i didn't mention but if if you're brand new to this channel i'm not too keen on that one that I didn't mention so I'm just not going to throw no salt on this name I'm just not going to go there but Prodigy is back I love the adventures we're on I like seeing them on the different worlds and what they're dealing with even dealing with Starflight and how they solved that problem and how they they left that planet better than they found it same with um same with the whales when we first meet them where you know this uh, whale is almost extinct but she's carrying babies and they give her a choice like this is man this is just fun this is just like good natured, kind of like youth fun that we can watch. And I think a lot of people are sleeping on the show, man. And they shouldn't, man. Like Star Trek Prodigy is awesome. So of course, let me pull it in the park, but holla me, I'ma holla at you. Talk to y'all later. Let's ride. Ooh.